we're going to make some spilt bread. I'd already started to combine my ingredients before I was inspired to share. So here in my bowl, you have four cups of spelt flour, one tablespoon of activated dry yeast, a pinch of sea salt, a fourth a cup of sweetener. I used molasses. Other great options that would work are date syrup, maple syrup, agave. And finally, I used one and three-fourths cup of warmed coconut milk. And you want that to be warm so that it can activate the yeast that we used. And if you follow this recipe as I've shared it, this would constitute as a plant-based bread. Um, spelt flour, however, is a variety of wheat. So it does contain gluten. But the good thing with that is it's one of the grains that's best tolerated by the body. So even those who have... Um, gluten deficiencies or celiac disease usually can tolerate it. So let's get this all mixed and folded in until we get a nice sticky ball of dough. And then we get to move on to the fun part. <laughs> now you want to have a floured surface and a little extra flour for the top of your dough. So we can start the process of kneading it. And we're just gonna fold and twist and bend it on itself until all of those deep cracks and crevices are made smooth. And like I said, this is the fun part. So get into it, enjoy it, it's free therapy. Um, more about spelt flour. It is shown to help with deficiencies. So those people who have nutritional deficiencies, this is a great replacement for enriched and white flowers that you're using. Once we got that kneaded, let's put it back in the bowl and get it covered. And we're gonna set it in a warm place for at least a half an hour so that it can rise. I set it on the stove that I have right, preheat so on 375. And this is what I got after about 35, 40 minutes. Nice puffed bread dough that grows so beautifully. Bacon. So we're gonna get that transferred into an oiled uh, or greased bread pan and get this process moving. I learned that what you store. So not only uh, is it well for nutrient deficiencies, it strengthens the immune system and it's even been used to treat disorder. So it's a perfect example of food being medicine. Um, it's been used to treat chronic digestive issues and infections, nerve and bone disorders, Alzheimer's disease, and even some cancers, okay? So um, spelt flour is definitely a great replacement. Once we get that into the, the bread pan, let's slice it so we get that beautiful store-bought look of bread. And look, voila. That's what we got after baking for about 40 minutes. And it's not only beautiful, it tastes really well. The texture of it was nice and fluffy, which is what the yeast does. Um, and this is one of my first few times playing with yeast. I'm used to unleavened bread, but I can definitely tell the difference. And yes, it's a simple recipe, five ingredients. And there's nothing more satisfying than fresh bread. Seriously, simple pleasures. So I hope you try it. And if you do, share with me how it goes for you. Otherwise, enjoy. enjoy. Peace, love, light.